Welcome back. It's another coronavirus episode. We are here talking about the latest and what we are hoping for in the future. I had a chance to talk to a friend from high school, Brooke, about this crazy time. There will be two more guests, Tyra and Marlene, sharing their opinions about the coronavirus. (laughs) COVID-19. I'm sorry. Crazy. Crazy. Very crazy. So what are your thoughts about it? Girl, I have so many thoughts. And it's just like, it's overwhelming because the media has taken like full effect on this. And it's so hard to just process all of these different articles and different things and like conspiracies and things that are real and things that they say that they're gonna you know what I mean there's Mm -hmm. just so much to it Mm -hmm. so but the overall part of this whole entire thing is the virus itself and I just feel that it's crazy because people are so quick to say yeah it's just like the flu but just like the flu and how deadly the flu could be this virus is deadly too mm-hmm. and uh-uh really deadly. there was just three cases in Isang Meadow and I ain't with that Mm-mm. three Isang Meadow like wash everything you own literally in a town in a town a small little town it's in every state all yes. 50 states that's insane no, how do you I feel just, like? I don't know I mean I'm kind of calm I feel mm-hmm. like that most people, a lot of people out there are really nervous about everything and yeah. kind of freaking out, which I don't know. I don't know if I should be calm or if I should be freaking out too. That's like how them. I feel, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm just relaxing at home, trying to be healthy, drinking orange juice, you know, being healthy, mm-hmm. trying to work out. I'm sad about the gym. That's cool. I know. Spot. That's horrible. Okay. I've been trying to get out to walk. <laughs> I know. Like around the neighborhood or something. It's like today's perfect, but then it snowed. So like, what is the world coming to? Right. It's just so crazy. And there's, like I said, the conspiracies around this. Like how they say that, oh, every year around the election time, around this time, like there's always a new disease. Mm. But the thing is, is like all those diseases too, like they came and they killed a lot of people too. Yeah, I don't this, know. This is something different. This is but, different, and the president of America didn't react quickly. Yep, that's why he didn't. He thought that was gonna come over here, and now look at us. No, it's gonna right. really hit us bad. Like it went in Massachusetts. It went from five hundred to a thousand, like Monday or something like that. Oh my gosh. Like so quickly, like it's getting worse and worse. Now, is there a lot of people like recovering? I I think so. I hope so. <laughs> I think because I don't know. Like I said, there's so many different articles and stuff, but I see some that like the U.S. it went up really quickly. Obviously, I think there's some people, a lot of people in recovery, and there's few people that like have it, and then they don't even feel anything yeah there's like no symptoms yeah and then now they i saw another article that they said that there's two new symptoms i think people don't know what's going on i feel like nobody knows nobody I feel knows. like everyone's like just saying shit right they're just freaking out there's still no toilet paper <laughs> yeah like <laughs> like still no toilet paper and you know what's really crazy this is something that i thought about too why how come when we had that big tornado, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, everyone lost power. Also, the snowstorm that we had when everyone lost power. How come nobody was buying stuff like that, buying out the stores and, you know, overpacking their houses when we were in those times? And that was so crazy, too, because right. you have no power unless you have a generator. Right, but, like, not even, like, why are we stocking up all this stuff anyways right like it's all still this be, t- toilet like, paper and they're still gonna be open yeah it's still taking it too um, we just have to pr- 
pray and be healthy. And really come together, you know? Exactly, that too. I feel like people don't understand that, like, in times like this, like, we don't really have anything else to do besides come together. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people can't really, like, do that. Right. And get along, you know what I mean? Especially around here. Exactly. Honestly, I feel like we needed this. We We did. to come together and, like, have all this happen. Mm -hmm. So we know, like... So, I feel like we take life for granted. We really do. You know? We do, and people get to spend time with their families now, you know, kids mm-hmm. at least. Kids are literally out until May, but they get out of school in June. So, what's the point of even them going back for a month <laughs> and a couple well. weeks and just be like, okay, you know? So. I wonder what they're going to do. Right, and people's graduations are coming up in May. Oh That's a huge they're gathering. Canceled. canceled. You know, so like I know, like my one of my really good friends, she was so excited to graduate for her master's, and you know what I mean. Canceled. Canceled. So it's insane how extreme everything is, you know. But like you said, just stay safe, stay clean, get some Lysol. You know, I heard that they're being very stingy with the Lysol stores. Mm-hmm. Clorox wipes, wipe handles, wipe mm-hmm. anything that you touch on a daily basis. Wipe your phone. Mm-hmm. That's the nastiest thing you probably have in you mm-hmm. on you all the time. Your, your phone, phone is so dirty. Definitely. So wipe your phone with cleaning wipes every day. Like mm-hmm. regardless if you leave your house or not, because who knows, you know. And just stay safe, clean, and it's like. Right now, it's like we can't panic because if you panic, that doesn't you no good. No good at all. No good, and people are doing so much of it, and it's not doing any good right now. Be safe. Be safe. (laughs) Coronavirus. Coronavirus! (laughs) She's messing everybody up right now. So disrespectful. You know, there's been, like, pandemics before in the past. None that I have, obviously, lived through. But um, this is, like, my first pandemic and most people's first pandemic, like, in terms of our generation Mm -hmm. and stuff. This is actually, like, this is crazy. Like, it's This is, like, this is unreal. Like, it's crazy. Like, we are really at, like, a pause and, like, at a halt in our lives right now because... Oh, my God. We have to stay home. Like, this is, yeah. Like, Massachusetts has a stay-at-home advisory right now. Everything escalated so fast. And I remember, like, a few weeks ago when I was still working and stuff and, like, talking to my coworkers, like, when there was just, like, news every day about this virus. Like, I remember I told them, I was like, it's going to get bad. Like, I straight up told them, I was like, this is going to get bad. I was like, just wait on it, guys. Like, I was like, yo, like, literally be prepared. It's not a joke. <laughs> I was telling them. And slowly, I just started seeing people around me, society around me, like, just start to, like, fall apart and act different and act weird. And, you, you know, you see people chew colors and, and how people can be so affected by, you know, the media and every, everybody around them and paranoia. And it's just, like, all this stuff. But... Like, aside from that, I feel like personally and, like, honestly, truly, everybody in the world needed this. Like, everybody needed this. Mm -hmm. Everyone needed this. I can say this for myself. Like, I needed this. Mm -hmm. I am, for, like, the first time in a while, like, I am at ease because I'm not, like, stressed out 24-7. My mind is not racing, like, every day, like, as it usually does throughout the day and also, like, before I go to sleep and stuff. Like, I just have a bunch of things in my mind, like, oh, my gosh, I need to do this, I need to do that. It's an issue in my life right now. This is of a concern. What am I going to do next week in regards to this? Oh, my gosh, I have to do this this day. Like, that's how my mind somewhat, like, works. It's always racing, running with things. And it hasn't been for the past two weeks now that I've been at home, which is a good thing. I also get focused 
on things that I've been wanting to do that I couldn't do or haven't done. Like, I, this is the time now that I do that. And also praying for everybody who has to go on unemployment, who has to be with people in their lives that aren't good to them in terms of like abuse and stuff. I'm praying for children who can't eat because they rely heavily on meals that are provided at school. Mm -hmm. um, I think about that like, cause, cause I'm a teacher and I think about my kids and like the kids that are in my center itself because I work with low income families. So like, I think about that, but I know that there's a bunch of people that are volunteering and working, you know, giving food to those children and families that need it like providing mm -hmm. groceries and stuff which is great that they're doing mm -hmm. something like that yeah yeah it is great i actually supposed to help out with that i reached out to someone in my company today saying that i want to help volunteer with that wow that's great tyra yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> i've been waiting on it i did it since like the last time i was at work and it's been on the back of my mind but yeah yeah i feel like everybody needs this and it's very unfortunate for people who have to be at home that shouldn't be at home people with like mental health issues and you know that are getting abused and there's just like mm -hmm. a bunch of all these other things um but it's not like we're confined to being at home we can still step outside to get fresh air mm -hmm. and stuff and like go for a walk jog whatever um so that's good but at this point with the amount of cases that are happening like nationwide and also in other countries, I feel like we sh just shouldn't do the stay at home advisory. I feel like we should just do a lockdown for a certain amount of days. Like just like a whole, just like a whole lockdown as in like everybody has to stay home. Like not go out at all because there's people who are still going out when they don't have to. And it's really like agitating because you know, the virus is like asymptomatic now. Like mm -hmm. there's people who have it and they don't show symptoms and you don't even know. And that's scary to be honest. Like that's really scary because a person can be carrying it and give it to another person that could be asymptomatic or like that can contract it even harsher than the person who's asymptomatic has. And it's just, it's a lot. I just feel like, you know, to be cautious and stuff and to prevent from this extending because we've already gone into like two extensions i feel like they should just do a lockdown before it gets worse yeah because it's just i feel like it's just gonna keep it getting extended like people yeah. are still going outside people yeah. are still going to wendy's bro people are still going to wendy's like drive through to get food yeah like all the time. you don't need to be doing that <laughs> all the time there was a line do that. Yeah. just stay home cook go to the grocery store get food why you what Come on, you gotta be people smarter than People at the this. parks, just chilling. People at the park. Yo, I heard people have been at the parks having whole picnics. Yeah. And like kids, like kids playing and stuff. It's crazy. I haven't seen it yet, but like people have been telling me and stuff. And like I've been seeing it on Instagram live streams and stuff like that. And also like, I think the governor even mentioned it on one of his broadcasts. They should like finance us with money. And we wouldn't have to worry because, like, if we do a lockdown, those people who are still working, like, at fast food places and et cetera, like, you know, um, like, Family Dollar and stuff, like, you know, they wouldn't be getting an income, but, like, the government should just provide that, you know? They should just finance that for us. I don't know what's holding them back. But, hey, man, <laughs> this is just my opinion, and I'm just trying to get fed up because everything keeps getting extended and stuff, and people are still out lollygagging, so... Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> it is getting real. It's getting real. <laughs> Cardi B. Yeah, saving lives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl. Thank you so much, though. You're welcome. Hey, Marlene. Hey, girl. How are you? Thank you so much for being on Lessons Learned. Of course, I'm good. I'm glad that you're having me here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. So, coronavirus, what are your thoughts? Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't even get me started. Coronavirus. Um, okay, so the other day I was, I was venting on Snapchat pretty much how I felt about the situation and the pandemic we're going through. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen... Um, on Snapchat stories how they were 
doing a comparison of this same time last year and how clear the earth is right now from out of space compared to how it was last year and i was very shocked by the looks of it because it's only literally been like three weeks of quarantine that we've had and that has been a major improvement on our earth i'm very devastated by the outcomes of like this virus because i didn't think that it would spread this quickly and it would affect this this many people um it's very tragic and it's very sad but i think that this is something that the earth desperately needed because it needed a break and i don't think that many people pay attention to the earth obviously because global global warming is very serious and it's such a serious topic that not many people they want to acknowledge it or you know dedicate time to it but my friends and i we always we always have like these mental breakdowns about how we're affecting the earth and how you know a couple of months ago um the rainforest in australia were on fire for weeks you get what i'm saying like they were on fire for weeks maybe even months and we didn't we couldn't do anything about it or many of us couldn't do anything about it so it was it was out of our control and i knew that like mother nature needed a break from everything that was happening with humans in this earth definitely so i agree yeah it really it's really scary bad. yeah it's very it's definitely very scary so my i have like you know people are taking this rather serious and i keep seeing people post talking about you guys need to take this more serious be more serious about it and you know definitely be serious about it you know take your precautions like you know protect your loved ones like you know at home if you see that you have family that have health problems that are that can be compromised you know don't put them through something that can be very complicated but i have my own personal views when it comes to like being afraid and when it comes to you know and not in a religious perspective but rather like on on your own belief um I don't fear. I don't fear this virus at all. If I get it, I get it. If I don't get it, I don't get it, you know? I feel like God can take us today or take us tomorrow mm-hmm. without this virus and it would still be out of our own control. Definitely. I agree. Yeah. yeah. This is just a matter of the truth. Right. Now, what do you think about people um doubting it? For instance, I saw this girl on Dr. Phil saying, "Oh, this is a hoax. You're part of the Illuminati." Like saying all this crazy shit. I'm like, girl, you're making all of us look so stupid right now. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, what what are your thoughts about that? Oh, my God. I feel like I had my own, like, um, conspiracy theories when it comes to this. Um, and I had, like, a conversation with a different friend. But before I tell you about that conversation, I'll tell you my, like, theories. So, first off, before before we had this coronavirus as a main topic, we had major topics on the social radars which was you know Trump and China going into this nuclear war first of all we had that we had this topic going back and forth between China and the United States second of all during these times as well Trump is talking about building a wall right but the, there's no money to build this wall so now we're entering the season where okay not this virus is here we weren't so much aware about this virus china was before they even told us like china was aware for at least a month or two months before the whole world knew you know what i'm saying so i had this theory like this was like stuff from china or something like that to like get back at trump in the united states or something like that because instead of using nuclear war like weapons this is what their war like this is their weapon like this virus is their world weapon you get it so I had that theory in my head like oh my god um this all also started like right where we're listening to the candidates and we're trying to decide who we want to be our next president and who we're going to choose our votes for and that's something that's very important because we all have this theory like you know Trump kind of um he faked his votes when he first became president and I feel like this is something that is also in in a step for um the next presidency like this is something that's going to put a hold for people to even know who we're voting for so now we're going to vote for someone without even having actual information because of this pandemic information that we're dealing with that's taking control of our uh, media so my friend and I were having this conversation that's when I brought this up to him and he's like well 
the like Trump knew, but he kind of decided to dismiss the fact that we had we were dealing with this virus until mm-hmm. it actually like took over the United States. And I'm like, well, that's a problem because if Trump knew and decided to like, um, you know, overrule having to care for this virus, so he was up. He knew this was coming, and he this is yeah, this he is his react. way. He didn't react right. quickly. He didn't react right away. So this was his way of controlling the controlling the people. And this is, goes back to like being in control by a person or an individual controlling the whole world, how it used to be back then. And it's kind of scary in that sense, um, because now the power relies on this one individual, which is Trump, who who has made incompetent ass choices before the even know fight. anything. Right. Do he you- doesn't know anything. So it's just like, how are we how are we listening to this one person who can't even like leave? can't even freaking say a speech he can't say a speech he can't leave <laughs> so it's like how how are how do we know as a community that we're gonna be in good hands when trump has not uh, like made us secure that we've been in good hands <laughs> you know yeah. so it's just so many thoughts go into that and i've had like so many conspiracy theories and i'm like yo this is kind of scary but i don't i don't know i really don't know what to believe i don't right. know what to deal with i just go day day by day <laughs> I mean, that's all we're going to have to do, that and pray and just be hopeful, honestly. Exactly. Definitely praying. Praying a lot. Yeah. Any last thoughts? Yeah. My last thought on this virus is definitely take your precautions, you know, protect your loved ones. If you have loved ones at home, like, you know, an elder mom, an elder member, people who dealt with them, you know, their their health has been compromised. Definitely take that into consideration when you're going out. And when you're hanging out with friends also i don't think that you should cut off completely social like your social network your friends don't cut them off go on walks with your friends just at a distance you know i think that people are seeing this like yo you can't hang out with your friends be at a distance like you can still go on walks you can still hang out with your friends just make sure that you're at a distance that you're being cautious that if you you know you're asking your friends hey are you sick have you been sick have you been around anyone that's sick so that you're not completely distancing yourself from the world. Mm -hmm. Um, Something else that I would like to share is check on your friends that are Asian. Um, Though they might be in good hands, they have family in locations that have been severely affected. So they might be dealing with hurt or pain or loss. So reach out to those friends. And also, um, not only reaching out to those friends, also check on your friends with mental health issues or um, because during these times people are taking social distancing um to another level and there are people that live alone who deal with mental health issues every single day and maybe these people are you know they may be coping but maybe they're having a hard time so definitely check on your friends check on those that you know deal with mental health issues um and those that you know um need a little bit more checking up on because that will go a long way so there you have it everyone don't panic, check on your friends, and please be safe. I know we are getting anxious, but the cases are still high. Let's stop the spread of this disease. Thanks for listening. Check back for more episodes.